All right, guys. Lego My Lego 920 here with another podcast with. That's right. So we're discussing about Thor Love and Thunder. And after Thor Love and Thunder, we're going to go over all the post pandemic stuff with Phase Four that was announced at San Diego Comic Con. Especially phase five and phase six. We're gonna and say, guys, we're gonna say the exact same thing. Well, I will. I will say the exact same thing that we that we said on the video talking about Jurassic World Dominion. If you don't want to be spoiled about Thor: Love and Thunder, leave now. Yes, like don't like click away if you don't want to get spoiled if you haven't seen the film yet. I feel like at this point everybody should have seen the film by now, but I could be wrong. Yeah. That's why. We're still saying it to be safe. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you got the trailer presented, Bailey? It will be presenting behind me. <laughs> yeah. So, in my editing, in my video, you guys will be watching the trailer behind me. Or, like, I'll be in the corner or something while the trailer is presenting or something. I don't know. Depending on how I edit it edit this video but yes yeah so you can notice in the beginning of the film it started off with gore played by christian bale which i'm glad that he's in the mcu now <laughs> yeah but yeah, uh we're overall it was a I... great movie i do like thor love and thunder it was a great movie overall yeah yeah, and the all the chemistry was pretty good also with all those edits and stuff. Yeah. Like I do like how the movie well the, I do agree that the movie uh started off kind of Yeah. Kind of slow after a little the, bit. Um, then after the Marvel Studios intro title, they showed uh a uh, Korg telling a story. Yeah, uh, Cork was starting a story with talking about talking to the kids about Thor. Yep, and of course where uh, Thor was training, and of course where he lost all the the body weight that he's gained in Endgame. Yeah, through uh, and well between Endgame and Infinity War, between that time, <laughs> between the uh, yeah. that time frame. And of course, where he was fighting with the Guardians of the Galaxy in the big in the beginning, as well as with Korg and stuff, uh, it was pretty funny with the Guardians of the Galaxy, especially how uh, Thor overdid some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you want you want to show some trailer photo footage while you present? Uh, like present uh. It on Discord. I don't have the internet up for me right now, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't have. And it. Remember- it will be playing on my video. It will be playing for yeah. Odin here needs to figure something out for his videos, but yeah, you're yeah. You'll have to see everything from uh, Bailey's video. Mm-hmm. So if you remember from the trailer when. When Peter was like, "Not me," to Thor, when you when he said, "Find some when you love," when yeah, like they they didn't have that part in the movie. Yeah, I think they cut that part out of the movie, which is fine and stuff. Yeah, Thor, Love, Thor, Love and Thunder did have a phenomenal soundtrack, even playing those two Guns and Roses songs. Yeah, it's uh, it was awesome. And where they cut to where Thor and Kor go to that one snowy planet, and then back on to Earth that to New Asgard to join the battle. But but before getting to that battle, it start they show some scenes with um, Jane Foster played by Natalie Portman, Portman where she was dealing with some cancer. Mhm. Yeah, and the 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 other girl from the first two movies, which 
Thor Love and Thunder is not the only one she made her return. Like, she made her return in WandaVision. Ragnarok? Are you talking about uh, Valkyrie? No, I'm not talking about Valkyrie. I'm talking about the the girl from the first two Thor movies. Oh, uh, the one that's friends with Jane? I can't remember. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember her name. Yeah. But, uh... Although Valkyrie was in the movie, and when uh, Jane found, went to News Asgard and, of course, saw Millionaire uh, broken into pieces, it came fixed up where, where Millionaire chose Jane Foster, where I, she became Lady Thor. I do have a theory about that. Why it... Why... Milnir was fixed, uh, became fixed and stuff, and Jane was able to use Milnir. I'm pretty sure yep. it was because that Milnir was being, uh, Thor in the movie was in. How should I explain this? Okay, so Thor in, uh, in a past scene where they were still together, you know, in the movie. Yes, was... from all the flashbacks. Yeah, yeah in the, the flashbacks. flashbacks before... Yes. Yeah, before Thanos was the snap. Yes, and then uh, I'm pretty sure it was also... It was after Thor the Dark World. Uh, that's for yeah. sure. It was after Thor the Dark World. So Thor... Uh, I don't know if you saw this, but Thor tor- uh, turned towards Milnir and said, "Protect Jane." And then you yes. did you see the logo show up on Thor's hammer on Milnir and stuff? Yep. It, the only time we saw that was in the first movie. Yeah, that. So I'm guessing it was because when he said that, then Jane became worthy of Milnir. Yep. And that's, of course we're that's the reason. And of course Yep. And Gore did uh abduct all those children from New Asgard, but Thor did have luck with uh Heimdall's son. Yeah. He uh yeah, he did. Yeah. Teaching and, uh, Heimdall's son how to do like some of his abilities and and stuff. So, yep. And and it was funny with where Stormbreaker was like jealous. Stormbreaker <laughs> was jealous of Milnir. Yeah, and then of course where they went off to save the children, they did show all kinds of gods. And then of course there's the actors part with um uh, the Odin played. Actor played by Sam Neill as the actor Thor played by Luke Hemsworth and the actor Loki played by Matt Damon. And of course, uh, the actor Holland played by Melissa McCarthy. Uh Yeah. But yeah, they did show all sorts of gods in that movie. Like they met up with one where they ended at. Um. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been so long. Yeah, I don't remember because we, yeah, it's because we were so busy and stuff, so we didn't get to do this recording like the day of or the day after. So I barely even remember anything. Yeah, we do apologize that Although, we didn't get this video out sooner, but we were busy. So yes, yeah. Sorry for the delay, guys. But yeah, they needed something from that god stop gore. Yeah, like uh, which one? Because Gore was, was after creep. Stormbreaker because he needed the Bifrost for yes on the axe to open. What was it? The Eternal Life or something? I don't know. Because it yeah, would grant him a yeah. wish and stuff, stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's probably not going to be a lot of stuff worth talking about. Yeah, even the part on the ship where Thor told 
uh, Jane that Stormbreaker chose her, you know, and with the love confess, see, and uh, going back to Earth where where she was dying. But we'll get to the ending where with the battle against uh, Gore and, of course, saving all the children. Until in that ending, it was sad that uh, that Jane Foster has died. And, of course, where Thor is raising uh, Gore's uh, daughter. Yeah, like that, uh, the very ending of the movie where they... Uh, both jump into action. Uh, obviously, uh, Gore's daughter was holding Sw- uh, Stormbreaker, and then Thor was ho- holding Mjolnir again, and stuff. Yeah. And throughout the whole movie, Thor was still worthy of Mjolnir. He was still worthy, but for some reason, it, he would just—I uh, don't know why—but he couldn't call Mjolnir back for some odd reason. But like he was yeah. still worthy because he could still pick it up, uh, pick Mjolnir up. But for some reason, yeah. he just could not call Mjolnir back. I, I'm assuming he can now, at the end of the movie, because he was holding Mjolnir. So I'm assuming he could still throw Mjolnir and call it right back, and stuff. I assume. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. know yet, but I assume. And then, of course, we had. Uh two post credit scenes one where they revealed some sort of villain hercules i believe because uh zeus was in there and zeus yep, said son zeus. so yep i'm assuming that was second... hercules and then there was the second post credit scene where jane foster ended up in where the world that heimdall was in uh valhalla yep the place where all gods go after battle. <laughs> yep. So. And. So. Yeah. If Jane is there, then maybe Odin is there. Not you, yep. but like uh, Thor's yeah, father. I know that. <laughs> yes, Thor's father. Thor's father. Now, let's. All right, we're gonna discuss the stuff that were that Kevin Feige revealed at San Diego Comic Con, starting with the post pandemic of Phase Four. So we thought Thor: Love and Thunder was gonna be the movie to end Phase Four, but it's not. The Black Panther: Wakanda Forever is gonna be the last film to end Phase Four. Which I seen the trailer for that. That like it looks awesome. Yeah, we. Yes, I definitely seen the trailer off screen. It was amazing. Maybe I'll even to have more. Maybe I'll put the trailer behind me as well for that movie. I don't know yet, but we'll see. Yep. <laughs> and what else we'll have for phase four is the I Am Groot series, which the episodes are going to be short. And there's also She Hulk, which you notice that Mark Ruffalo is, as Bruce Banner is Professor Hulk in that one. He's then still of Professor course, Hulk. Uh, yep. And then, of course, we got the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. But I really don't want to spoil the the post credit scene on Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, though, for Bailey. I have not seen it yet. <laughs> yeah. And so, for Phase 5, Ant-Man the Wasp is going to kick off Phase 5 in uh, February of 2023. And we got all sorts of Disney Plus shows. And, yeah, a couple of movies for Phase 5. If uh, Bailey is presenting the images. If I am. uh, That's it really depends if I can find them uh, and either put them over my face or behind me. Either one. <laughs> yeah. Like, there should be some images that I messaged Bailey on Discord on for Phase 5. He could take a closer look. Yeah, I could probably just uh, take those images that you messaged me and then I could put them behind me or over my face. <laughs> either one. Because <laughs> I have my webcam on. Yay! First yeah. video with my new Ooh. webcam. <laughs> but yeah, Bailey's webcam's off 
from my recording here for, it, for discord it's off because uh, my green screen doesn't cover the, like behind me all the way could, otherwise people would still be able to see what's behind me so if you want odin you can send me your perspective and then i can do some editing to where yep. it split oh, where people can see your face and then my face at the same time or something i don't know yeah but yeah, I'm on uh, the message that I've sent Bailey with the two images right now. So here's phase five, guys. So Ammon and the Wasp will come out on February 7th, 2023. And then after that will be in spring of the Disney Plus series Secret Invasion with all the scrolls and stuff at Thord with uh, Nick Fury. Yeah, because Nick Fury is off world. Yep. Then we will get Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Now, James Gunn did confirm that that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 will be more mature. I really don't know that that will be rated R or something, but there will be some rated R films for the MCU later on, which we will discuss later. Well, we'll see so after how... Guardians- we'll see how... Uh- uh, mature it will be because Chris Pratt is in it so <laughs> and he's pretty funny too yeah uh, so Guardians we'll of the Galaxy volume, yeah Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is going to have Adam Warlock and of course there's going to be some story arcs for some characters that are going to be ending story arcs yeah yeah and of course uh, after Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 we'll be getting the Echo series which Echo is the character that was from the Hawkeye show where she's going to probably face against Kingpin. Yeah, uh, which is a Spider-Man villain. I'm surprised that he's not in any of the Spider-Man movies yet. Also, quick back to She-Hulk. We saw that the yellow Daredevil will be in She-Hulk, which he will... um, uh, Which... which will be played by uh, Charlie Cox, which he was Matt Murdock in Spider-Man No Way Home. Yeah, uh, he was. Uh, everybody was when I like I saw videos on YouTube where he, when he came on screen for No Way Home, everybody was screaming and everything because he played Daredevil. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, because. And for Ammon the Wasp Quantumania, King the Conqueror is going to be the villain for Ammon the Wasp Quantumania, especially when he might return into some new projects soon, which we're going to break down later after all of Phase 5. Then after Echo, we have Season 2 of Loki. Which is going to be entertaining. (laughs) Yep. And then we got the second Captain Marvel movie, which is The Marvels, coming out on July uh, 28th of 2023. I don't think it's just going to be Captain Marvel that would be in it. Um, I feel like that Miss Miss Marvel Marvel. will be in it as well. And I'm pretty sure that's why it's called The Marvels, because Miss Marvel and Captain Marvel will will be in the movie, probably. And to quick review on Miss Marvel, Miss Marvel was all right for a series, but it it really wasn't really that great. That's just my opinion about it. I haven't seen it, so I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Then after the Marvels, we have Blade, which they revealed the release date, which is November twenty. 20- November 3rd, 2023. Now, Blade has not been confirmed to be R-rated, but it could since he's a vampire slayer. Yeah, uh, I can definitely see that. Yeah, especially from Wesley Snipes movies. Yeah. Then, and of course, somewhere on the fall, we got Ironheart, which is a female Iron Man I'm pretty sure it will be either Pepper or her or Tony's daughter that would be Ironheart, probably, more than likely. Yeah. And we know Agnes 
Yeah. Agatha is getting a series also on Disney Plus. And as well as Daredevil. Yeah, Daredevil is coming back. And then and the last for- movie will be Captain America uh, New World New World War or whatever. I think that's what that the says. New, I can't read that. I can't read the image very new well. New World Order. New I think. World Order. Yeah, New World Order. Yeah, that's what's... So yeah, where Sam Wilson will be the mantle of Captain America. And John Walker might be the villain for for Captain America, the, the New the World Order. Since now, he this is might, now a villain. <laughs> we might... This might not be all of phase five we might get some more stuff as like the thunderbolt which is an anti-avengers team that secretary ross and valentina are are recruiting which will be like a suicide squad version of the avengers the suicide squad of the avengers <laughs> yeah well, and of course yeah i can see that actually now and Phase 5 could get Deadpool 3, which will still be R-rated also. Yeah. Somewhere around and there. They're also, and they're also probably working on a World War Hulk movie with Mark Ruffalo. I can definitely see them doing that since he's Professor Hulk now and stuff, <laughs> so Hulk can talk now. <laughs> so, yay. Yeah. And Shang-Chi and uh, the Eternals might get sequels also. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, there's also Spider-Man Freshman Year as well as X-Men 97 and what if Season 2 of Marvel's Zombies, which those could be added to Phase 6. As movies, maybe. I don't know. I don't yep. know if they would do that, but maybe, possibly. And I know Sony's already working on a Spider-Man 4 with Tom Holland already, which will probably be added to Phase 5 also. Now, Sony will make the announcement for Spider-Man 4. Since Sony owns the rights to Spider-Man, not necessarily Marvel. Or Disney. Marvel or Disney does not own Spider-Man. Sony does. Because... uh, Well, there's a whole thing behind it. I'm not going to get into it right now. And there's even a Wakanda series, and we might even get um, Nova, especially the Punisher and Ghost Rider. Yes. Yeah, I can see that, because I don't think we have Ghost Rider in the MCU yet, unless we're counting uh, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., then he was in there, but... I don't know. <laughs> so I yeah. guess Ghost Rider is part of the MCU already since he was in um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. But, uh, yep. So he's already in the MCU, but we haven't seen him in movies yet with other heroes like uh, Captain America or Iron Man or Hulk or Wolverine even. Yep. We don't know. Yep. Now... For phase six here, we only we got the Fantastic Four. Now John Krasinski is rumored to play Reed Richards in Fantastic Four. Bailey, did you see uh Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness yet? No, I have seen clips. I have seen clips of it. So what yeah. about with the Illuminati? Yes, I have seen that because I knew we were going to be talking about it eventually. So yeah, because, I'm still uh, planning on watching it, but I'm, it's not necessarily a movie to get uh, for me to get spoiled on anyways. So yeah, especially when John Klinzinski was, was uh, Mr. Fantastic for uh Dr. Strange and multiverse of madness. Yeah. And like uh professor X came, uh, came back. And stuff. Yep. So he was part of the Illuminati. Then uh, Captain Carter was in the movie as well as Captain British, I think. 
I think that was her yeah. hero name. I don't know. Since we had Steve Rogers as Captain America, I don't know what uh Peggy Carter name was. I don't know. She was Captain something. I don't know what she was, but probably Captain British, I think. Captain Carter. Huh? Captain Carter. Yeah, Captain Carter, but like I'm pretty sure she had like cuz like Steve was Captain America, and then people called her called him Captain Rogers. And then I'm assuming that uh Peggy had two names. Pe- uh Captain uh, Carter and then Captain something else, like Captain British or something. I don't know. So it's at the shield and stuff yep. probably. So I mean, Yeah. I know Fantastic for may not be the one to kick up phase six since there is something for fall 2024 before fantastic four and we got a spot on winter of 2024 also yeah like i'm looking at the uh image and stuff the image would probably be behind me more than likely during this video but i'm yeah. looking at it and <laughs> there's only three movies as of right now for phase yeah. six and we could get some X-Men films also for the MCU and maybe a Captain Britain film or series. Well, if we do get an X-Men, who's going to play Wolverine? Because uh, Hugh Jackman is, I think, done with playing Wolverine now. Otherwise, yep. he would play, who would play Wolverine then since Hugh Jackman is done? Yep. And of course, we you see that we got two new Avengers films that's going to be coming out on the same year, which is Avengers: The King Death Dynasty, and then of course Avengers: Secret Wars, which they will be mega crossovers in the multiverse and stuff, where a villain will win, and then the heroes will win in the next one. So yeah, I could definitely. Uh, it would be like Infinity War in Endgame, like Infinity War, Thanos won, and then in Endgame, then the heroes won. Similar to yep. that. So, um, so meaning that we'll get Kang and maybe another big bad villain, which is Galactus. Maybe Galactus. I don't know. We haven't seen Galactus yeah. in the MCU yet, so we have no idea. I feel like if Galactus came, then probably Steve Rogers would come back, and somehow they'll get Tony Stark. Again, somehow maybe go back in time, get Tony, and then bring him to the future and stuff. Maybe yeah. I don't know. I could definitely see them bringing uh, Steve Rogers back as Captain America. Then we'll have two Captain Americas: Sam Neil and the Sam Neil, Sam Wilson. Why was he still thinking of Jurassic? Wait, how did I get here? <laughs> Captain America, and then Steve Rogers, Captain America. Yeah, but maybe I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't, I don't know if we're gonna get like another blip, you know, that's, that's like the fail snap. But yeah, and, and really sorry for all the noise from the from the dogs in my background. That's what happens when you own pets. <laughs> yeah, they tend to get a little anyway, noisy. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's all we'll we'll show for for all of the phases. For all the Marvel movies in the MCU. So far. There's still more to be planned, but like, because we, I like at phase six, we see uh, still like sections that still can have movies still and stuff. Yep. And I cannot. Th- there's tabs for those, <laughs> for those dates. But yeah, I cannot wait to check those out. Anyway, guys. I'm going to probably end the recording here because my dogs are going crazy where I probably need to take them outside. Anyway, guys, if you guys liked what you saw, make sure you click like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below and make sure you subscribe to to Orcus55. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. And make sure you check out my Discord fan server in the description. Yeah, if Bang. if you ever want to talk to us on Discord, we're we're both on Discord. I'm on his server too. So if you ever want to yep. talk to me and Odin, go on Discord. Yep, Have, uh, talk to us. We're more than happy to talk. Anyway, guys, 
I'll see you guys in the next video, especially when I might do more collabs with Bailey in the future down the line. Or more of our friends. Maybe. I don't yep. know. Not just me, but more of our friends, too. <laughs> Maybe. If any All other right. people. Like, I'm certainly doing coll more collabs in the future, either with Odin or you guys have seen Jonathan and Connor in my videos before. Maybe more videos with them, too. I don't know. <laughs> but... Because it's been a while oh, since I did videos with them. Yep. And then All right, guys. maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll do more collabs. Maybe we could do a collab with them with Odin too here. Then it'll be like the four yep. of us doing a video or something. I don't know. Yep. Anyway, guys. Goodbye. See ya. Yeah.